Welcome back to Gary Grinsby's World at War. I am Magican, and last time I ended up in a little bit of awkward situation. Not that much, but still I stopped while I was doing something. And I normally do that a lot, so I'm trying to keep this turn by turn and nothing else. That's what I'm trying to, to go through, like turn one, two, three, and one turn at a time, and then stop that. But yeah okay so look at that i moved this up and i moved that up i also changed this sound music in the background a little bit notch up just a little bit so you get a little bit more uh, of that so you can hear what's going on as i said before i will not attack while um while waiting on on winter time as it will be really really tough to do that maybe i should move some of these troops up i could do that extra up here maybe even one more here of oh, these guys these units i have one extra and this one two and then there's 10 11 12 it's important to do this. I still keep that and there will be four tanks here. Then I'm not sure this will attack. That will be three tanks. I have a lot of artillery, but they should not come through this because that's four tank and our tanks is much better than the attackers. And there's still this one and this one. So um, they should not do it. The only problem for us is this point here. That is a big problem that using this much of the resource. Maybe I should just let two of them stay back or something like that. Um, but so it will not. No, no, no. Let's just. Yeah, we'll maybe we'll not attack with all of them, but just. Yeah, let. Let's do that. Okay. And how much should we still... We cannot move anything there. We did that before. We can't move anything here either. And maybe we could move something here. Um, maybe... That has been moved all the way here. But that is a... Bummer there. Maybe just move that back again. So have more support if they are attacking the ground troops here. Uh, especially when it's one with a star. That's really good to have that. And this one is moved. So we have some against two tanks. If they're coming with tanks plus four extra tanks. That should be enough. They cannot. They, the only tanks that can cross is these three. There will be three tanks. That's plus that's six tanks. And then a lot of men. But they will not empty this area totally because we can go down there so there's a lot of things going on here um, and if you look at the research especially this area here look at the tanks it's seven six and the allies have seven uh, six six here it's only the Japanese that's different and you can see six six that's and these is really good against those guys uh, you should see and especially in winter time it will be really hard for them to attack that's why we are not attacking right now we are waiting for spring uh, we could do it but it will cost a lot we could just test how much will this cost to do this um, also there's not that many point left but still let's just have a view with what we have like ready right now we do not really have the points to do this but still it's a good way to, to show what can be done and that is the last one and let's see here look at that with all these troops they do not have that much there compared to okay they got a little bit more than we do but not with tanks but still lose more than they do 
That is quite impressive. And also... The points here. It costs a lot. And you need to have, especially with, with this area, that's partisan area, or the partisan area, you will need to have units in those areas so they will not get um, get in, problem, in trouble. And if you do not have these supplies and go down to zero, they will light up. So you have some trouble there, especially when you conquer these friends, uh, friends areas, but mostly Russian areas. And also Yugoslavia, they have a lot of partisan there. I think that was it. A little inf information, a little what to do. And then it's the next phase, and that's production phase. Look at that. Northern Persia, Albania, Hungary, Hungary, Romania, Bulgaria, Greece, Istanbul, Turkey, Southern Italy, and Northern Italy. But I cannot see Finland, and Finland is pro -ax. But they have probably removed any... You there in the normal game they got some points for Finland. Well, let's see Sweden. Do they have something? They got a lot of raw materials and Norway got one raw material. So let's see here. We need to uh, make research. That's the most important part. And then we have to make troops after research. If you have a lot of troops they can of course get a lot going. But again, it is the research that makes everything happen. Maybe not there. These three is needed. One, two, and three. And this one too. And we need the sub. Hopefully we can get the sub working. And there are three in movement, but that's not what we're going for. And let's see here if we could get and this is also pretty high compared to the normal. They are not that high here uh, normally, and uh, but but it's good to have that like this. It's it's really really good because it would be too easy to attack the ships. Just go out, attack all the ships, and then don't buy it. But let's um, maybe not do this right now the points are still needed for a lot of things let's keep the production going especially those they will be ready soon and eastern and austria what about making one man there and one and eastern That's all. Still a lot of raw materials ready there. That can be made, but that's it. And let's see with the... Here we go. That's 18 against 17 in Russia. That's 10, 6... Maybe like that. And this, this costs too much, but we have to do it. It's really important. And we can't do that. Okay. There we go. Got the sub. Even that it was only five, then we have that now. That's really important. And five in Western Poland, because you don't have in, uh, industry there. So, and it's a um, foreign area, but that was good. And now it's Japan. Let's see here. We just have to attack this area with full force. Except the partisan troops. There we go. These partisan, uh, not partisan, militia troops need to be there. Let's see if we can't take them out. Oh, they lost. Wow, look at that. They lost a lot here. But we also got some damage units. That's not good. Three band damage units. But they lost five militia and one infantry, but the rest here was actually 
fixed and they are now eight but the good thing is you get resource and that is, is important you will not get that early in the game of course you can attack down here but then you really have problems with the, the Americans here okay there was a sub let's just put that down there and this is not an easy game. The way it's made with this uh, version here, it's not easy. It's really, really tough. Um, but it's not impossible at all. You're playing normal, everything is good, and you can beat it if you know what you want to do. And of course, there's still the die. So you have to think of that, but the rest is normal as you expect. But let's just keep this going. It will still be needed to make these men work. And no tanks for this part here. But again, not bad to have the subs working. And again, planes. And these is really important because the States has a lot of subs. But look at that, they're really producing a lot here. Uh, I really want to have a chance to make two of these guys. Oh, only one. As the manpower will change that. And now nearly everything is working in the right way. And it will also be good to make Some more planes and more of these transports. But right now it's really nice just to have the units ready. Let's see here. How much is there here? That's only two. Look at that. That's why it's really important raw materials. Now they have like plus three in production. And that's really important to have this working. And we need to do this. because we need to have a lot of these guys they will not get any supplies from any other areas let's see here they got one and they got the two and they got one plane and one uh, aircraft carrier that's extra and Moscow gets Yugoslavia and and they get extra they didn't get any uh, tech and they are bombing away that was all but they didn't get anything and they got some units but us respond to japanese advance into china reduce gift by two you can always pause the recording and see what had but there was nothing really there and this is the uh, um, what i mean about the um, uh the pop-up it's good to have seven on these uh, pop-ups here look at that again another unit another needed in here so uh, we should get that unit over there. That's why it was not bad to have this extra unit there. Let's just try to get all these tanks over. And these planes here. And then all of these units. Nearly all of these units. Let's just have these. Let's keep two here. And that's important with keeping two here. Because of the situation with partisan troops and let's keep that there and then let's just look at that look at those points over there look at that 34 only we got 60 something in the beginning but that is why it cost a lot with support look at that this is the mark of the partisan and it will not be higher look at that it will not be that it will not be red like in Japan but it's still really important to remember this. Okay, if we bring them along, let's see, without them, it's 7.87 and 22 point something. And it will be a little bit better, but not that much, actually. So let's just keep that this, and then just make the attack. I could probably take this plane and see if we can move that all over there and attack that. See if that hurts a little bit. 
That actually brings it a little bit down. 22 points. A little bit, but I think we should just make attack. No. Wait, let's just, just wait here with attack here. Let's see here. Okay, they cannot trace the attack for repair. There was some victory and bad tactical bomber. They cannot be repaired. Infantry. All these units cannot be repaired. That's not possible. They cannot retreat. Uh, there was some tactical bomber stuff like that cannot be repaired. These was destroyed right away. We had a lot of these units in, but these we we actually only damaged three of this and the tank and uh, anti tank, and that was probably pretty normal. I think they only lost about twenty two thousand troops or about forty thousand something like that uh, in France. A mission and they actually lost about 39,000 over here in Poland and so didn't lose that much in France but it can of course change here if you didn't bring all these units along and a lot of stuff everything can change you can also say oh I will lose uh, I will lose 10 and they will lose 15 we will win but maybe you will not win so it's it's about advancing access troops have overrun Paris after a devastating assault, the Nazi war machine crushed the once proud city and inhabitants, leaving little standing. Paris, a tree-lined street so beautiful in the past, now the carriageways for Hitler's formidable army. Her monuments, now the parade ground for legions of Nazi soldiers. One asks the question, will our world ever be the same again? And now is spring. And you see, Vitu France is down here, and it's pro X. You will get that industry complex and the raw materials on there. But here, everything is actually. This is actually fixed. This you will get fixed because you didn't attack it. And it has a fortification, but you got it fixed. So it's four raw materials, three train, and that's infrastructure and one uh, industry. Here, there is three train infrastructure there, three infantry, uh, three inf uh, in industry, and one raw material. I'm gabbing sometimes here. In this, let's see. That's seven. That's eight. And here, that's six. That's seven. So it's actually better to attack this. But this is not Paris, so you need to, of course, attack this. But look at the points. We do not have points to fix all of this right away. And inf in Infantry units here can only move if you got this and the tanks can only move one two places So right now it's not really needed that we have to go over But it's good to go down and get Yugoslavia as fast as possible and right now we don't get anything So we need to fix this next time So uh, we need to have Some of this fixed and one more I will not do anything here extra I'll just keep it at this and we cannot move anything back right yeah these can move back but that will cost a point okay that is and then we have these units here out in the water That's only, even with the best protection now, uh, extra torpedo stuff like that in the research, it's still not working. This was working. And of course the problem is now 13 and 11. So they are not on 13 down here yet. But after this turn, they will probably do that. And then also the Japanese turn, they will probably get to 13 and then have two in uh, production. I hope not. I really hope they will keep a troll for something like that. So we have one more turn and they are at that low rate. And if you look at this, then this has happened. Soyuz forces, Finnish border, Soyuz, Romanian border, Kuba, Yugoslavia has happened. So, um, we just need to keep this as good as possible. I would have liked to get this last um, 
industry but that industry will not be times two like in germany they will keep times one until you get information they they rise in times two i think you will get that a little bit later when the germans start to put production out here let's see do we have any other units nope let's just let's just look at something f first and of course this is is good they got that but they are not lucky with these dices here one minus one it's like so but let's look at this over i think it's not over there another over there i just have to remember it over here of course here you see what we have in production right now and what has been like damaged and here you see the airline how much they lost in uh, in france 27 9 6 tanks 11 so they are not getting anything they also lost five transporter but that's most because of the situation with our fleet there and they are producing four that has been like in um damaged and they maybe do the same as we are doing with put them red we do not need them we have so many right now but the, uh, you can see they also lost three battleships and three light fleet li destroyers and that's quite a lot we didn't attack any battleship we attacked one destroyer but they were on the ports so uh, some of them was taken and um, and the allied didn't want them to get in uh, in Germany hands so it would have been good to capture them but of course we don't didn't do that you can go up here and see how much do we have in the world now that's only 13 and 5 in production and the 5 in production is of course uh, extra after these what I remember or is it yeah let's see here of course that is that's let's see 5 and 5 that's 10 Okay, that's a good question. Can't we really remember this? If that's anything here, let's just keep that. That's one there. We know we have. Yeah, that is with that. That is like one of these is fixed because we have four of these, and they say one is beginning to getting to repair, and we have three there, and then one here. We do not have any in production, so that's that is right. And you can see Japanese has 11 and 14 here. And one in production, I have a lot of light fleet production. But if you look here, they only got six left now. And one in production, and then one tank, they only got two tanks now. And again, three, and again, anti aircraft, they got one in production and two fleets in production. And all this is in production, but they do not have any of those troops that was destroyed. They do not have any of those, so that is quite good. We can also see here the Russians has like double as much as Germany has. So that is quite a lot of men. And here they are starting to produce two extra tanks. That would be five. We have to get this working. And the rest, they do not have that many points. But look at those points here, down here. Four only for Germany now. That's not a lot. So let's just see here. There's no more units to move. Let's end the phase. And we get now six from Spain. And get from Vitifans, get these guys here. And North Italy, South Italy. Bulgaria, Romania and stuff like that. But soon these want to join. And of course you say yes to that. Else you will just get supplies all the time. And no extra fleet to move. You will actually be able to move this fleet. It will be your fleet to move. And of course it's not that good as the rest. But then the turns start to get longer and longer. And you have to be really careful for what you do. 
And let's just start with the research. As I said, this is really important. And look at how little you got here now. And that is because of the situation with all the troops that is damaged. And that. And we can't get that anymore, even that I wanted to, because look at how mo much raw material we got here. That is insane a lot of raw material compared to industry, but it will change, it will change pretty soon. And here we go, to build in Western, and we got all this, but no tech. That's pretty irritating with no tech, but that's the way it is right now. Uh, let's see here. We can make a rail just once, so we can do this. Make it all in right away. And then move this unit into. And then attack this. Of course, it will be really irritating not to get it, but we will get it with all these units. But look at the points here. That's really important to get these points up and running. And sometimes it's too expensive to do this. And next time there's probability to get industry. That's why we're doing it. And there they go. All three. There was nothing before. Now it's 15. It was 10. Now it's 15. We can fix this. But I don't want to fix that. But there's only 7. Then everything will be red here. Not red. will be yellow. Um... Here, one, two, three, there will be too many problems here. So we'll just keep this as it is right now. And that's nothing uh, more. And have a chance next time to go in. See him since one to Hoshu. That's this down here. And let's just this going not too much now and why not because we need a lot to get supplies in I'll just be like that and this is all production we need to get one and two and one and let's see here there's only six now that's 12 that's only six that's 30 we need the points here all of them that's 30 extra now that should do it next time next turn that's again resources and again they got but no research now the chinese got this 10 here and they got some extra points from uh, and now it's come see just look at the allies first okay we didn't see that it was too fast but maybe if you just stop the recording they got a lot of things going on there down in the bottom with extra things Baltic Sea is no longer frozen. We said yes to Mussolini. Seeking to recreate the glory of the Roman Empire, the armies of Mussolini are on the move as the war widens into the Mediterranean. Italy has joined Germany in its war of aggression against the Allies. Now it starts. 
now it really, really starts in this game here. One thing is that in the start you just have this little area to work with. Now you start to get the global work here. And it's really getting get huge. There's a lot of things to remember, a lot of things to do. Uh, right now you would like to use the tanks all over here. But these areas is not easy to cross. You need to be careful here. And as you can see, there is also issues here. So you need to have these guys. This is just standard units that you can use. That is just militia. And I want like to use the militia on these missions here. You can move it down here, but but look at these troops here. Minus two in the tanks, minus one in plane, minus one in infantry and militia, just standard. So, that is an issue here. And to get these Hungary with you, and Romania with you, and Bulgaria, you need to attack Yugoslavia. The, now, you have to also remember, you do not get any at all points for Italy now. You have the pro uh, production now, you don't get any points at all. So that's really important to remember, you don't get any supply points. So those 40 you get, normally you don't get them. So remember that. Let's just look at the ships. These ships are really good. They are standard ships. And these was also good. But what the problem was here, they were up here in the harbor. And they used some... Uh, the UK, England, they used some uh, bombers. Uh, salt fisk, I think they were, or something like that. Um, and they got a hit because they used um, a way like they did in uh, Pearl Harbor. But they used uh, a wooden socket in the end of the bomb, so it kept on up in the water. So it won't go down and button and hit the, the ground. That was pretty easy to make, but it's a really good idea. That's really difficult to just come up with that idea. And that's the same as the Japanese saw with the information there. So they did it at Pearl Harbor. And that was even uh, deeper waters. And here was lower, what I remember. So there's a lot of things here we need to put into calculation. Maybe that's not in, but always good to have the ship out. But that's 62 now, that's good, but again, you will really be in trouble here. I can just try to show you that the English has... You see, we have more losses. They also got one light ship, but again, we got more losses, even more now, even that is 50-50, because the English ships are better. And you can see that here. With these, if you look at these numbers against other ships, it's eight. And that's five. And that should be right. And that should be the same, 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 same. It is actually the same, but what I think they have, I think they have. Nope, they don't have any stars. Hmm, that's a good question. I think there is something about this anyway. Let's just... I've always seen that it was like this, so... No said question mark about it. They have five and eight against other ships. And two torpedoes, the Japanese is better. Hmm, that's a good question. Maybe it's because you're attacking. We could also use the bomber here, but that's not working. Uh, because it's two, the distance, that's why I would like to have one more distance or even two, because you still need to have it back again. That's just one extra, but it will be one extra to move back. Here you got the tanks, and you can move in here. And it will be a chance to move in there, but if you look at the points there, they have a normal tank and two militia. 
And right here, we only got one tank minus two. That will not work at all. So just what we could do is say one of these tanks could go down here, but we need to have the transporters ready for that. And we got transporter here. But that was used to get that unit. Over there. And maybe we should not do that. Let's just... So we can have this... Maybe not down there. That's too dangerous, but down here. And then have one tank move over. And one infantry. And we have to fix those. So we can have these on the move. Okay, we can't put that over there, but we'll still have to move them over here and move them here and stuff like that. Um, and we can't attack right now. These guys are too hard to attack. We have to wait for next turn. So let's just see here. There we go. And there. And this one should just move up there. Maybe that was not a good idea. Because we will need to move from here. We can't do that. Then we have to fix one of these again. And then we should be able to... Look at that. Let's just... Keep this. And this can move over there, this can move there. But it will not be a bad idea to be able to move over there, but that's not possible right now. We could put these ships down here. But it will cost one point each to bring them out. And this will also cost to put this out in the water here. But we could do that just to to stay on the fleet. And next time we could move these units. The, right now, there's a lot of units here, but still not enough infantry, what I can see. Still need to move. But it's not necessary to move all of these guys right now. We can just keep them here and just take it easy. Uh, we could move these two over there and just say like that. I would like to have... These move units like this, but I hope that will be enough next time. I could also say I will not use these troops for that. I can always do that next time. 
No. Let's just keep them over here. And then move them back to here. And then take these back. They have the this star, and it's always good to have stars on these units here. Also good to have two of these guys standing and two here. So they won't just go down and attack down here. They could got go through here, as you can see. But then they have to go in one, two, three, and four instead of just one. You have to go one, two, three, four instead of just one, two, three. So that will cost them a little extra move. And they will also say one, two, and attack Berlin here. And we got one extra. Let's just move that out. And there's no fleet in the area to to irritate it. It's still only doing this. I need to move that over there. And that was even the good one. There we go. That's not even the good one. So then we got one anyway. Down here. You can't pass here before the other you could actually pass here but now there's impossible and they could attack here you could also attack here but that's one war material so we will not go away from that and there's also one here and this one is not that has to be mined now they could go out here and attack this little transporter but it was really good to get these units down here to protect like getting rummel down in the south and that artillery is also good to have that. And we could... Let's see how many units do we have here. That's four. That should be enough to take this. Let's just keep that there. And we could attack next time with these planes also, so it's not that bad. Maybe this will be attacked by the destroyers here. They will just gather together and attack this one, but let's see. Okay, that's only one unit there. That's not good enough. Maybe we need to just move one unit over there. That will cost one point. When we get... Look at that. When we get Romania, that will be seven militia. That's a lot of militia. And uh, also in Hungary, that's four. And then in... Uh, in Bulgaria, that's also three. And that will put in these areas where we have these issues with partisans. So let's just... Exit that face, and you will see how much we get. Romania will send, Northern Persia, Hungary will send, Greece, Istanbul, Turkey, Southern France, and that Spain and Portugal, but no Italy. That's good to remember. Um, I should just now 28. Look at that, everything is working now. The Germans should be on three. That was what we not. Where I didn't reach to pause the game with the um, English. We didn't see that the Germans will be in three. Look at that. When you have more of these planes, these fighters, then it will grow here to seven instead of just six. And now we have made that. Sometimes I hold the planes back so they will not be at that height. If you have more troops, they will cost more to research. So just remember that. Maybe you can hold back, but it's hard to hold back because a lot of things can happen. And still here, you can also see it will be s 7 now instead of 6 here. Yeah? And also, if you have too many of these anti-tank, you know, uh, anti-aircraft. But we do not have that in this situation, so that's quite good. But now we start to get more tanks. I think we will need to get this up and running. And more men. You can also see that also uh, a problem here. We do not have that many uh, subs, so that will not be the problem. 
We need to get up to four. That's really important on this to get that working. And let's start with this now. We should be able to to get against the subs, but also against these ships here. Not you, but ships. Just to have it, and maybe even torpedoes. I know that's pro, but just have one. Then you can steal the. But wait, wait for next time. We have. We need to build a lot of troops now. Artillery, and tank, and against ships, not bad to have that. But again, right now it's important just to keep this going. And next time we'll have problems with the. Uh, we're getting resources up. There will probably be nine, but we could go in and say, let's just wait a little bit. But we should still continue to get this up, so it won't matter. We'll still have that research to go to eight, nine, and ten. So it doesn't matter to stop it. Let's see here, Western Germany cannot get that to work before that is completed. We could stop that one turn, but no, not disband armor, but that won't do anything, really. Maybe we could do that for one turn, look at that. But look at how much resources there is, and compared to... Uh, industry now and that's a little bit different and look at all production that's nothing really working here in production we need to have more bombers more planes And more men. And Italy. We need to produce something. You can actually produce something. And Southern Italy would like to produce a transport. And they're good at ships, so we should probably produce a ship. And look at that, these guys are all the way up here, it will take a little bit longer to produce in compared to these fleets here, but that's just uh, information. We could produce militia, but let's just wait with that, maybe it's better just to produce industry, just one, but that won't do there. And they have a lot of miners in these fleets, so why not just produce a lot of good things to Germany? And now everything should be in order. You can also go in and check right here what to fix. Maybe it would be good to fix this. There we go. Get 35 extra and then the tanks there. I've actually used many turns here now and I should not do that, but I will just have one more turn with the Japanese. Then just look at that. 32 should be able to fix one and fix two. That's the most important. And let's just get these two units over there. But maybe just one back. Maybe that was not the right way to do it. Yeah, it was. Mm. 
and then we could go in and take this that will be industry and also resources here we can also take one industry the, if we take this then there will be an incident taking this will be better to do they have not that many troops in there and they do not even have a plane in here they have a plane in here so that's three against other planes one one let's just take this one i would rather go for this more secure area Maybe not that unit. Let's just keep it at this. We actually lost one. They damaged three of their, four of their units and only militia lost, but now it's 17. But we got, we got the resources here. We still need to say, whoa, what was going on here? And we put two in here, but why is it still? having that issue that's because let's just move that over there don't use any points because they start to need three here in these areas and now we do not get the Chongqing incident but still next time we need to attack that and we have the troops for it now we can attack from two directions and these are locked in uh, we could just go in with that. That's what I want to do. So now we could actually attack with these and these. And of course, do not use any planes because they have too many anti-aircraft. But the men, that's not that strong. And the good thing about this is you get the resources. But right now we can't do anything about it not even these because it costs too much but that will be it for this turn and one from Xi'an to Hoshu. that's because of this guy here axe learning and we have French into China so let's just go on production they also got Chinese got this last time so it's important to remember that. And this is for the United States to get that to be fixed. And now you can see here, down here, we need one extra because we got more uh, light fleet. And I will just go back and see what happened with these units before. So we have to make sure that everything was good. I will not do anything here right now. We do not have the resources for this. There's one for Japan there. We need to have more movement points. Whoa, this was giving. That's one minus, but that's 35 again. Plus the four, that's 39. So that's really needed. And then this Hoshu here. And they got three and two. And down here. Round out Western Allied spying. So they are actually spying. And China also spying. They only got evasion technology from, from Germany. But the rest was just two spies they got. And here they still build in Moscow. They got this left in Chongqing. And that's uh, artillery. I do not know. Uh, and, uh, and that I do not like. And... These are up in two now. Brazil, China, that's a lot here. Let's just hold that. West Nile, secure, Soviet, and China. Italy forces Greek border. Oh, Greek ship pro acts. Two military militia in Greece, that's not good. Respond to Japanese advantage in China. Reduce gift by two. So it now has a factory mu multiplied by two. But that is first now and not in Russia turn. That's now they got it. So we actually Using hold them back. Using their protectorate of Albania as a springboard for invasion, the armies of fascist Italy have made an unprovoked attack upon Greece. Mussolini has vowed to overrun the Balkan nation 
and add it to his resurrected Roman Empire. Bad idea, Italy. Bad idea. So now we also got problems down here. They are pro-allied in some turns. We will have some problems with they, them. They will just become allies just right away in some areas. And they will have trouble because they will start to attack all the other areas here, especially Albania. But let's take that next time. They will start to get to Yugoslavia. And still, that's 60 up here. We need to get all the industry fixed, like here. Eastern Germany, Eastern Germany, that's not industry, but that's raw materials. But as you can look like in raw materials right now, you can see we have a lot of raw materials, but this will start multiplying soon. So, um, thank you for watching, and see you next time.